All right, guys, we got some fresh merch right off the press. I've been waiting for this shirt to drop. I absolutely love it. Head on over to cleesmcfarland.com. We also got the red shirt that I'm wearing. Dr. Tuna Mall Spark Plug shirt. I wear this shirt all the time. I absolutely love it. Also, we got still in stock our Moonshine Route 69 shirt. Dr. Tuna Mall laptop hat. Dr. Tuna Mall Spark Plug hat. Fresh stickers. Dr. Tuna Mall Spark Plug. If you ain't been and you ain't sending. Dr. Tuna Mall Bent Rod sticker. And we also got these fresh Moonshine posters that are all signed by me. So head on over to CletusMcFarland.com. Every $5 you spend gets you one entry to win this OG Leroy lookalike or that Ariel Adam. Had it at the shop for a couple months. They're actually out of the Cayman Islands, so he shipped the car over. We did a little bit of track tuning, uh, and then the last time they came to get it, we had an injector issue. So I went ahead, put a set of FIC injectors in it. Um, I actually have it running really good, but we made the decision since the car sits a lot and they're not here to run it all the time that we're going to go ahead and switch it over to C16. So it was running on X85, but we're going to go ahead, switch it over to C16, and then go to the dyno, make sure everything is good because they're coming into town this week. And all right, so like I said, we're going to switch this thing over. From E85 or X85 to C16, other few things that we've done since the last time out, uh, the car was going like mid 540 area. We went ahead and TJ swung and we re kind of plotted the four link brackets. We also went ahead and put a set of Metzger shocks on the rear, reset all the ride height stuff, and we installed a motion operator shifter for him that's controlled with the CO2 now so he doesn't have to try and shift it because it is a three speed um, and he wants to do some quarter mile racing with it so we just got to get it dialed in. So. Fresh injectors, uh, it was running good with the 85 but because of that sitting, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and switch it over to C16. Uh, then you won't have to worry about injectors getting gummed up or anything like that. And the car sitting being in storage, stuff like that, should not have any issues. So I don't think we have much else to do this go around. Uh, the car will come back. We're gonna put a breather box in it, like a burn down box. And he's got some more fiberglass parts coming for it. So TJ will get a hold of it, kind of fit all the fiberglass stuff up, get all the new stuff on and then he can go take it and get it painted. Without further ado, well, let's get started. All right, went ahead and drained the fuel system. We got our C16 in, I put five gallons in for now, uh, but we should be good. Uh, I'll fire it up, let it idle for a little bit, make sure all our fueling stuff looks pretty good, and then we'll cruise down the street over to the dyno and uh, get this thing strapped down. So you guys know I'm not exaggerating when I say it's really, really hot in here. I'm, I'm completely soaked, but look at this water bottle just smoking. It's that hot. It's gotta be 100 plus in here right now. 
spinning on the dyno, I'll be honest with you. 735, yeah. The boost came in real hard and I could feel it just like it was spinning the rear tire. So we'll pull up, oh, I guess it's by speed now. If the speed dives real hard, that's when you know it was actually spinning on the dyno. Uh, let's see, it looked like it was about 15 pounds. I'll open the data over real quick, click pink. Yeah, 15, uh, you saw 16.2, so I was close. Still needs a little bit more fuel up there and uh, should be pretty close. We'll uh, pull this up, see if it was actually spinning on the dyno, strap down a little bit harder if we need to. Alright guys, that's, it's spinning on the dyno. Everything looks pretty decent though, so I'm not gonna worry about restrapping it just to get a number down. Um, we'll just take it to the track. But yeah, it spun hard. I had to lift because it was shaking the tire on the back. Oh damn near 
So everything looks good. It's healthy. So we'll uh, we'll get it unstrapped, get back to the shop, and uh, get ready for OB at the track the next time you see us in this video. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We actually got a little bit of a dry night, so we're gonna get this Malibu out that we had on the dyno, get it tested. I've got a softer boost ramp in it so he can kind of get used to it because it's been a little bit since he's made a pass and uh, he's a little nervous right now. So soften it up a little bit and I believe Jack Stan's coming over with a 240. Don't quote me on that, but we'll see here in a minute. But we're gonna get him up in lace trying to make a first little shakedown. All right guys, James did make it. We got a little bit of an issue, so we're gonna have to check her over before we go try to make a pass. If you look at this side, it's actually sitting back and way lower than it was before. Versus this side. So, we're gonna have to fix that before we try to make any shakedowns. Malibu, we did not get a data log. Um, I'm actually surprised that it hooked and went down after it started to knock the tire off. But uh, we're making a little bit of a suspension change. I'm going to leave the tune the same, loosen up the front a little bit, so a little bit looser rebound on the front shock. We're going to tighten the compression in the back a couple clicks, and then loosen the back on the rebound a couple clicks. Get it to extend just a little bit quicker in the front and the rear. Just loosen it up a little bit, and then we did add some fuel because it was actually running out of fuel seemingly on the big end because there wasn't enough in the tank five more gallons of fuel on the back should help with a little bit of weight over the rear axle it'll be good all right guys we're gonna go up with the 240 before they prep and try to go down after all these street cars have gone down see if we can't get a, a little bit shittier of a truck than we have all right guys so we're back out here after us 19 dragway at brainton motorsports park gonna do a little uh marginal prep testing here we're in the middle of a street heat so the tracks tore up from a bunch of street tire cars and we're gonna see if we can get a, a tune up we can go down here in this we hope we can go down anywhere else so we've got something in there it should work so see what we can do
we're trying to get down at this next race. So we're going to do whatever we got to do to make the car be able to go down that. This is what we forgot to do. Radiator camp, uh, I mean, what we fuel up. No, I forgot to do a two step check. You know, this, what do we always say in all these things? Check a two step, exactly. check a two step. And what do we do? Not check. Oh, we forgot to check. <laughs> okay, so now then, chastise the crew. All right, crew, line up here. Check. Okay. <laughs> The last one was a perfect tune for up there in North Florida. Just a little A to B deal. So we'll probably use that for our first test pass to just check the track out up there. supposed to do it never fell in the rpm range so we left with a lot more rpm than we were planning on so that's what caused it to spin not saying that it would have went if that did work but it doesn't help when you don't have the two-step set to where it's supposed to be so uh we did a two-step check now fixed it in the tune and uh got to turn back around and try that again should it was supposed to so uh now we got data not gonna be the fastest pass in the world but uh hey we got down uh right before the shift kind of like after the shift it felt like it might have hit traction control or was trying to skip the rear tire a little bit um but i just drove through it and then it did it again about 500 foot, almost 600 foot into the run. Uh, we're here getting data. Being that the car is driving straight and felt good, I stayed in it to see what those spots were so we can go off of something. Now that we have a full pass under our belt with this thing so turned down and the suspension so loose, now we know where we need to be and where we can build from. And we can try to refine that tune to have all this new data we have now on the car work for us and we can start to chip away at and make it faster and faster and faster on those marginal prep tracks. Uh, next race we got is going to be on a marginal prep track, better than where we just were at, but not Bradenton on a race night. So um, we can't use any of the tune-ups we got. So we're we're going to build tune-ups. We're going to try to get probably like four, five, maybe six tune-ups saved in a laptop that we can go off of and uh, try to make this thing fast we need it to be fast but we need it to go down so it's a fine line of the two we're gonna need to refine that and get us a a, a folder of marginal track tune-ups for the car but here's to see what it ran and uh, we'll go from there
right guys so car wanted to make a hard drive to the wall moment there but that was quite a bit more power than what we had been throwing at it that was actually from the last time we were out testing that was like the hot tune-up that started wheeling and i think i've got a pretty good handle on the suspension now that's why i wanted to come back and kind of play with it because when we got up to georgia the last time and i figured out where the rear shock settings were at i was like what the heck this is not good so i have the suspension set up pretty good right now i feel like um still gotta make a couple little changes but the car is settled from where it used to kind of ride at and the anti-roll bar is actually touching so it's it i think it grabbed it on that one on one side only and steered the car i'm gonna pull up the data log right now and look at the shock sensors or shock sensor and see if it had like a immediate stop there and that's what made it kind of drive real hard but overall solid night of testing all right guys so we're back around taking another test run we were able to get good data off of that one got us a nice dry shaft curve finally Got everything finally working out in our favor. We got a tune-up that'll go down. But now let's try to make it go a little faster. Something's making a noise in the back right of the car, or clanking, don't know if you can hear that in the audio. Something started clanking back there, and it's spinning the tire in high gear. It's rah, 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 the tire. We saw it on the dry shaft sensor. Uh, that slower pass, obviously I was able to drive through it. This pass with that clunking noise it was making, I don't know if the clunk's causing the tire spin or if the tire spin caused the clunk, but it's testing, don't wanna tear the car up. I was probably in the throttle for, you know, 500, 550 feet of that run. Get around, pull the data. While Nate's doing that, I'm going to look at the uh, underneath the back right of the car, see what's making that noise, make sure nothing's broke or binding, causing it to uh, spin the tire like that. But I don't know if you guys can hear it in the audio, but going, I'm good. going through there after the shift, it... Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. I'm sure if you guys can see the dash, you'll see it going from being RPM numbers to yellow, red, yellow, red, and that's it coming up on the chip and uh, spinning the rear tire. So definitely got to figure that out. Could just be that we got the weight off the back of the car. Could be that it's topping the shock out and just skipping the back of the car. Might have to tighten it up and see. But uh, we'll get it turned around and try to make another uh, test pass here, get some more data. We're definitely going in the right direction now. Um, and uh, definitely going to have a hot rod come August at the next race. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with it. It's uh, coming around. It's not fast by any means. Definitely way slower than it normally is. But that's what we need. We need those middle of the ground tune-ups to go to these marginal prep tracks. So uh, we're going to keep gathering that data, keep building tune-ups, and uh, fill the computer full of good stuff. But um, yeah, get this thing turned around, see what we can do. All right, got her cooled down back up here. Got some good data. Gonna apply it to the car. We'll try that again.
hands up the head and his lap. Another stock walk shootout in North Florida, right around Panama City. So if you guys are up in that area, I'll put the dates in one of these videos. That way if you want to come watch or hang out, whatever, you guys can show up and support everybody. Malibu, Malibu's giving us a headache. So the last time we tried to go testing, we had an injector issue. I put a fresh set of injectors in it, like you guys saw, dynoed it, everything was good. Came up on the brake, did everything like you're supposed to, get here, first pass, spun, but everything was happy. After that, piss off again so I don't know if it sucks more trash up into the ejector so I'll have to get it back they're gonna leave it here with me at my shop actually I'll go get it and bring it back but I gotta get some stuff done at my shop get it back there pull the injectors out back feed them make sure there's no trash in them and check the fuel system go back start from square one again so we gotta get this thing figured out because he wants to race FL2K and they're from the Cayman Islands so he spends a lot of money and time to come up here so it's super frustrating for both of us that things not work but that's part of racing I guess but I appreciate you guys watching. As always, stay tuned and we'll see you in the next video.